Becoming a leader. Because all eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow. In any environment. At any scale. It's not for everyone. But if you want to learn and make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on Shamu That mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live Except and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. rally around inspire soldiers to follow your lead want to forge a better future start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions if you believe the best offense is a good defense we've got a great way to prove that theory explore more than 200 careers at goarmy.com Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing, a thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do, that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know?
I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Skip entry level. It is the best time of the week. It is ECAC Overwatch 2 Bellarmine versus Southern Arkansas. I am Sam Talks, joined here tonight with Acoustics and Acoustics. I mean, these two universities, they are ready to go at it. And we've, we've got some, we got some like interesting information out of them as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got some great information, right? So both teams currently are 2-1. And on one team specifically... There's a top 500 player, Steve Nick, for, uh, for, let's see what team this is. This is for, I think for Bellarmine, actually. Okay. Yeah, it's looking like Bellarmine. So, yeah, top 500, a top 500 player. Uh, having that in your pocket for your team, that has to feel good. But, you know, you're still 2-1, and one, so that top 500 player wasn't quite able to carry hard enough, and at the very least, that one game. Mm -hmm, exactly. Listen, one game is, you don't know, maybe it's a team diff right there, or maybe it got outclassed, you know. Who knows? We can say the gameplay has to speak for itself, though, and hopefully that's what we're going to see here today. That's what I'm hoping for. I, I'm right there with you, Acoustics. This is, this is like, okay, so you may be top 500, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're if you're not top 500 working with a the team, then how is that going to help you? You still have the skills. You have the raw mechanical skills. But put that into a team setting. We've seen it time and time again uh, in, in these competitive settings where, sure, someone may be a super high rank, but if they don't have that team coordination, then it kind of can be more of a detriment than a uh, a benefit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like the difference between just playing solo queue and playing with a team is a lot different. There's certain expectations you guys have for each other. Uh, solo queue expectations, way different than when you have a complete five stack, right? There's different right. levels of trust, different levels of like, all right, am I willing to even take these risks because of the team or do I just hold back? And that's what we're going to see right here in our first map, which is going to be Ilios, it looks Ooh. like. Okay, is always control. always a fun map to start off with and it looks like our first sub map is going to be on the ruins as well so long sight lines to benefit a widowmaker but of course i mean with sojourn being in the meta you really it's kind of like <laughs> okay if we decide to go anything but sojourn we're throwing right what do you mean what do you mean oh i love the widow pig man sojourn never heard of her bro never heard yeah her. who's so so who who? So what? I yeah, definitely, who? I definitely haven't had ninety five percent of my games with Soldier in it. That's, that's insane. Five. It's that's, never happened. Uh, just, it's never happened. What What is interesting here, though, Acoustics, is the hash pick though for Southern Arkansas. So maybe they're actually looking for not quite the Widowmaker, but somewhere in between the Widowmaker and going picking the Ash, having that extra mobility. Absolutely. Extra mobility. I like the utility of just the bomb hole for great point control, especially in a sub map like Ruins. But now let's get to the play by play right here. Indeed so. And it looks like we have the Genji as well. Looking to go in quick. Ooh. And Sojourn. So ah. ah. Genji pick is actually coming up big for ah. three already in the pocket for this team. That is going to be an easy first point, Acoustics. Oh my goodness. And just so you know, that is Steve Nick, the top 500 DPS on their team, showing why he's top 500. What a cleanup. Oh my God. Dick Neve, not wasting any time getting going. Brother, oh, that was that was absolutely amazing right there. Manages to get the fresh execute and just reset his queue the entire time. And from there, it was lights out for the rest of that team fight for Bellarmine. So Southern All Kansas, is going to have to try to make a comeback right here. Maybe go for a better engage or something. But Steve taking that high ground, just looking clean the entire time around. Hey, he's going in again. Not again. I mean, please. He's, he's looking down below. Lion Riggs is trying to get out of there, but he's just putting so much pressure onto them. On the flip side, though, with all of your tank and most of your DPS gone, it's kind of like a tricky situation for you to be able to continue pushing forward from there. And for Zero, this is going to be a difficult. They're going to try and hold on for as long as they can, get as much percentage on the board, and they're doing a fantastic job at that as well. Same here for Signeve. Stay alive as long as you can. At the very least, into this next team fight, you are going to have the Dragon Blade. 
Yeah, you're gonna have Dragon Blade. No other ults up though, so it's gonna be kind of risky yeah, to try to go for a play just around that. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder as well, because it was like you said, it's gonna be risky for them too, but if Zero builds up to it relatively quickly, it could be good actually. Okay, Stick, you're not wasting any time. They're going right back oh in there. Oh my, gets stop. One health of Zero to the ah! And now dashing on to third. That was a point that Southern Arkansas got for a second before it was flipped back over for Bellamy. Wow. Oh, and the Arigato taunt right there at the end. Right now, Steve Nick showing the difference in DPS right now. That's like the second fight that he says, you know what, I got this team. Don't even worry about this. I, I got it. I'll handle this. Just carrying just it on your back. That's the power of Genji, right, that we get to see. And already another opportunity looking at the Reaper before getting away with only 52 HP. You do need to back out eventually. You are Genji, but you are not invincible. And we also have the Orisa on the field too on top of that. We're going to be thrown up into the air thanks to a Gravitic Flux, but a beat is going to nullify most of that damage and pushing right on in is going to be the Orisa. Now they're using their own ult, just crashing, goes down inside of it, and the Overclock has been popped from Al. It's still back and forth too as we have the Moira ult blinding everyone but it looks like for right now the numbers have evened out as Bellarmine is still on point we are approaching towards the final as we get into overtime but with that pick onto ordinary bird this has become a lot more difficult for southern arkansas to be able to stay alive through this you're gonna have to rely on the power of knots peep is out too on top of that but has been eliminated and so from here oh, oh, oh no. just crashing you tried to overclock but six you're gonna dash the face over time, takes away, and Bellamy takes the first round. All right, and that was absolutely amazing right there from Ark uh, from Bellamy. Uh, I think honestly, Nick Nick said, "Oh, okay, you guys are down me because of that one loss." Hold on, uh, I'll show you guys a little slightly different. And that round one was absolutely clean. Great engages from Nick right there. Great cleans, and his team just being able to clean up afterwards was absolutely amazing for them. And it looks like Peep is going to make the switch over to Winston. Hopefully, as a way to kind of counteract that Genji, which I think you definitely need to focus and deal with that Genji. Yes, problem. Stick me doing so much to help Bellarmine be able to secure these points time and time again. And on top of that, Acoustics, we got to talk about it because this is a Lucio Bap combination. So they don't have the benefit of, say, a Nano Boost from Ana that could really destroy Southern Arkansas. They're just oh, doing this with a yeah. with a naked Dragon Blade. Yeah, if this, if this was Nano Blade, oh my god, I don't even want to think about it. It would be deadly is what it would be. And at very least for Southern Arkansas, you are going to draw out the immortality field and taking out the tank along with that. Peep sees that as their opportunity to be able to jump in. That's exactly what they are going to be doing as Lion Ricks playing a careful game, wanting to engage in. And this is actually going much better for Southern Arkansas this time around on Lighthouse as they are going to be taking the point first. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like people need great work right there in that situation, engaging, disrupting the line of sight right there for Steve. And look at that. Even Lyric saying, don't worry, I got something for Steve too. I can move around. I'm reaper. I'll find him. And they're doing a pretty good job at this too. Oh! I mean, take a, that is an early pick to be able to take onto Stick. A lot of damage has just been taken away for Bellarmine. You can see that Sun's Orisa is trying to back out as quickly as they can. However, on the flip side for Southern Arkansas, Peep has gone down themselves. This is Al on the Reaper. They've given up the dreams of being a soldier. And this is a good time and good opportunity for Bellarmine to be able to walk in on point and try and take it back. But Southern Arkansas is not going to give it up without a fight. And this is actually looking really good. It's nuts. He's able to win the DPS or the healer duel against Rob the Mob. And because of that, now we're able to push in. The Coalescence is going to save us and give us a little bit more breathing room and a Death Blossom to secure and hold. Oh, okay. All right. Southern Arkansas is definitely making great adjustments right there. They're covering all of the common points that Steve likes to approach from. And look at that. The Reaper and the Winston just waiting. Up there. Like, listen, Steve likes to move out of position from his team a lot. He knows he has a very high skill gap. And look at that. They practically read where he's going to be again. And is he gonna get killed early one more time? He's already at 89%. Why are you just going in? Oh, this is just going in. That is beautiful. Being able to go in with zero's beat gave them the sustainability to be able to stay alive. And on top of that, you have the rest of your team who is just swinging like it's nobody's business because we have sons on the Reinhardt. Being able to push in on that gave them all of the opportunity. The only thing that has me concerned now is they did commit three ultimates to make that happen. And the, they still do have two high value ultimates, Acoustics and the Reaper ult and soon to be Reinhardt. Oh, 
Oh yeah, absolutely. If they if they time if they put those votes together correctly, you can easily just get a five man wipe on the team. That's those are amazing value alts right there. Oh. I mean, they really are. Yeah. But the this in, this engagement is going to determine a lot of what's going to happen here. Southern Arkansas, if they do manage to flip the point. Oh, 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 oh dude, yes! 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 the earth shatter too. <laughs> that is what we call a team kill. Oh, and that was prime pickings on the enemy team right there. I respect it. I respect it. Owl and Sons with the synergy, knowing what they want to go for. Uh, just coming from up top and just finishing after the four-man Earth Shadow. Uh, amazing work right there. Oh, it really is. And of course, we always have Sick Knee being able to deflect the fire strikes. Overclock from Just Crashing. There's going to be a lot on you oh to make it happen, gosh. but Stick is going to deny all of that. So that ultimate is now off the field. And Bellarmine, where it looked like they were having difficulties on, oh, or sorry, Ilios in the initial seconds of this round has restabilized and shoved Southern Arkansas back into the spawn time and time again. Yeah, absolutely. That first fight where they actually managed to get the uh, the win was amazing for them, but now they seem to be struggling to get any footing at all. And Lionbreak switching over to the Symmetra is just enough. Okay. Yeah, the this Symmetra, <laughs> yeah, it seems kind of like an interesting choice. Okay, we'll go for it, we'll try it. But when you've already lost Ordinary Bird into the initial moments of team fight, and then with Peep following shortly afterwards, it's kind of just a moment where you're gonna expend this photon barrier to try and be able to get in, but it's not gonna be happening as Bellarmine takes Ilios in a very convincing fashion. <laughs> the tackle at the end. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, they managed to take that in spectacular fashion right there. And of course, Stick me with the play of the game. Let's see what it is. Oh, unexpected. This is like, this is literally the first seconds of the round, yeah. Sticks. Yeah, this was actually the first couple of seconds of the map. This is before the point was even unlocked. Oh my gosh. Disgusting is what that is. Come oh on, Stick. Come on, at least, at least make it like, you know, halfway into the match, not the very first few seconds. Bro, before the control point even comes up, before it's even unlocked, Steve says, you know what? Someone's out of position. And I take that personally. <laughs> I take that personally. Yeah, it's just, I need to, I need to destroy real quick. I need to uh, kill everybody. Yeah. And that's exactly what they did, but a really good first round coming out from Bellarmine, a really good first map. Uh, rather, this was a show of force, though, Acoustics. They did not mess around. Like I said, a rocky start on Lighthouse, but immediately just brought it back into their favor. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it was amazing, right? So at the first at the first fight, uh, it seems like Lion Rick of Arkansas uh, and Sons are doing great, right? They, they have the idea of how to stop, how to deal with Steve, and they win the first fight and engage, and now you worry like, okay, uh, maybe they can turn it around. Maybe this is the going point uh, from here on out. But then after the second and third one, it's just they seem to have gotten downloaded completely, like, Anytime anyone's out of position, Steve is just repping. He's like, all right, interesting. And then even and that's, Steve, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was the power of the Genji, even when things were starting to go sideways for Bellarmine. A couple of switches out off the Sojourn onto the Reaper to be able to put pressure onto the Winston that was coming from Peep. And that allowed them the opportunity to be able to, okay, let's. Let's have that sustainability. Let's put that bully on the tank, prevent them from actually getting on top of us and let stick really do what they do best. And that's uh, destroy everyone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And just, just total destruction right there. And even then, like Owls, Owl's son on, on the team carried their own. And that third engage, when they both had their own ready and they just worked together and did a complete team wipe, like they showed even when, uh, even when Steve doesn't have the ability to finish the job, the rest of the team can just pick up the slack. Yeah, there's no slouching over here on Bellarmine, and that's what we like to see after that first game. So I, I agree. It, if they don't, if if Arkansas does not make the proper adjustments into the next match, I don't know. This might. I don't want to say this is gonna be a sweep because the last time I said someone was gonna get swept, <laughs> I had a re, I had a reverse three zero. So it does not yeah. look good. It does not look good. It, 
it really does seem like though the top 500 is kind of working out for them and two on top of that they also have like i think they have like one top 500 that was on console as well so it's kind of like working with people who operate at a really high level of overwatch and understand how the game is supposed to be played and so you know uh, like you said, as we go into the next match, it's going to have to be that adjustment from Southern Arkansas. We know now that there's a pressure point in the Genji. What can really go up against Genji that we've been having troubles with or that can that can maybe give us a leg up here? We know that uh, Winston was doing a really good job until they switched over to the Reinhardt-Winston uh, uh, combination. Or I'm sorry, the reinhardt uh Reaper combination. So maybe we go Winston, maybe we switch over to Forget, maybe see if something is possible there. Um, a lot of different opportunities, but we do go on to our next map of Peraiso. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. So I think they also tried out maybe some DPS counters again. Yeah, I did see the Symmetra. I do think Ilios is not one of her worst maps. I think there's specific maps where she does well that may have been like one of their few choices. But against, uh, I guess this time, I'm not sure what they're exactly they're going to do. All right. And it looks like Bellarmine is on attack first. Oh, they're pulling out the Nano Blade this time? No. Oh, that's a that, oh, That's going to be painful. Bell Bellarmine is not messing around anymore, Acoustics. Oh, yeah. They are whipping out the Nano Blade. And two on top of that, they're also using Zarya, kind of the meta tank right now. Does a lot of damage. And so in this initial attack phase for Bellarmine, Five. Southern Arkansas, I think, is going to have a difficult time to attack them, especially with that Winston. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If anything, so Winston is actually one of the few good picks no way. in Zarya. He's one of the few good, few good picks in this area. And Owl going Widowmaker. Interesting. Okay. Quick switch off back to Hanza, though. So it looked <laughs> like it was just a quick shot. See if maybe if they can, might be able to get lucky and get ahead there. The Junkrat. Okay. Well, uh, Lion was alive, but was it <laughs> there anymore? Was, <laughs> there was a Junkrat? Where? I yeah, kind of kind of got deleted a little bit. And Stick is on a tear. And thankfully, too, you also have on top of that Suns destroying and wrecking through everybody. Bellarmine is already on point and getting, uh, with no contestation, is going to get this payload moving very, very soon. Yeah, so Suns is actually the, the other top 500 player that was on console. So their tank and their DPS have both been top 500 in their respective platforms, which is honestly, I think, kind of showing right here, especially in Suns' position. He's all right. We're going to play a meta take now, and then we're, we're, we'll, we'll show you guys. Yeah, we'll show you guys how it's done. Why not? <laughs> I, I mean, listen, there's no reason to. Ooh. It's no, it's no May, November right now, so you got to make do with what you have. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? A quick pick onto Stick, however, is going to give Southern Arkansas the opportunity to, at the very least, be able to push off a Beller Mine for a second here but once stick gets back onto the field you now you have that spawn advantage given to you so you want to look for another pick lions trying their best to make that happen but it's just a little bit too difficult i and, and, and stick back on the field already gets a kill on the beep oh and now it's just back and forth as they're tearing through the back line oh you can only you can only do so much just crash it before stick is gonna put you in the ground oh, oh wait hold on the dps warrior comes out and she's going <laughs> She's gone. Bye bye. DPS oh. Moira. You, you gotta try. <laughs> hey, you gotta try, right? Three ultimates for Bellarmine going into this next team fight, though. And in a very deadly combination at that, especially with the Graviton Surge and the Dragons. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if they decide to go ahead and expend that. There we go already, but the Immortality Field for just a split second kept them alive, but not alive long enough as that goes down. And already, with no time being wasted whatsoever, Bellarmine has already taken the payload to point B. And so this is the beauty, right? So they they use Graviton and, uh, and Dragon, perfect old combination, and still manages to keep Steve's already. So now Steve will have the Nano Blade ready for the yeah, next exactly. fight. And two on top of that, you can go in with the beat as well. So you have the beat to keep you safe while you are <laughs> slicing everyone for Southern Arkansas. And Peep has already switched, has also switched over to the Zarya to try and win the Zarya v Zarya matchup. But how successful is this going to be when Stick is already ready to go and do oh, no! double kills like that? Uh! Looking for a triple, not quite able to make it happen, but they're up in the air. 21 HP. Down they go, but they've already done enough. They've done their job, Acoustics. Oh yeah, they absolutely did their job. And Lyrics with the solo tire onto the Lucio. 
A nice little revenge kill, so you know. All right, get out of here. Okay, oh. Al, Al's no slouch. Al's no slouch, by the way, either. They've been getting, they, they just get a double kill right there. They're already looking towards their next one. Being able to solidify kills as Hanzo has not been easy in this meta, but to be able to do that has been working out really well for them. Lion making a quick oh, switch over wow. onto the Farah, but with oh. stick. I mean, stick. Stick! Stick! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> not, I'm not sure if you know about, about Shannon Sharp from uh from, uh from sports but he always has a he has a he has an announcer named skip so right now this would be the time where you just say stick let me tell you <laughs> such stick <laughs> and, and right now stick is absolutely playing on for his team son's great work with the zarya uh I, I will just clean up whoever's just not moving around enough. You gotta watch out for those line of sights. Even though Hanzo definitely has been struggling in his current meta, still has high damage. Uh, one of those snipers with the great ability to reposition thanks to wall climb and the double dash. And his recon ability is no slouch too, um, for especially when you just wanna hold a point, right? You wanna just keep someone from entering a certain line of sight. Sonic Arrow will have them scared for their life. He's like, oh, he saw me. I guess we're going a different way, folks. Oh, and what is this switch? Okay. I mean, so it looks like Southern Arkansas is wanting to go over onto the Sombra, maybe in an attempt to try and hack out Stick and get that little bit of extra damage boost on top of that with just okay. crashing, switching over onto the Reaper this go around as well. But for Bellarmine, completely just abandoning the Zarya for the Reinhardt. You know what? I, I do like the idea of abandoning the Zarya here just because I think holding defensively is a little bit better as Reinhardt uh, than it is as Zarya. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, your ability just to like prevent someone from getting damage. And I will actually switching over to the Cassidy right there too. Okay. Oh, it's hacking time. Oh, oh, we're oh, waiting. It's, we're waiting. it's hacking time. But in the time that you're trying to hack a target, Stick is already taken out just crashing. And so oh now you're caught out in this back line. The translocator not good enough to be able to save your life there, Lion. <laughs> and Al's, that, that magnetic grenade from Cassidy is doing all the work and Suns. Sweet baby, Jesus, Suns. <laughs> oh, I think I think you may know this is, a, this is looking like Louisiana hot finish right here, brother. This is... <laughs> Oh yeah, they can't handle the heat. I'm sorry, this, this is not looking good at all. I think the switch, the switch over to to Sombra, I felt smelled like desperation right there, right? Maybe they're not just, maybe they don't use her often, but I don't think she's gonna do well right there. And there it is, the Reinhardt. That's the beauty of it, being able to hold that top space like that. Oh. Yeah, I think I, I yeah, yeah, you're right with Lion switching off of the Sombra because they've went over onto the Ash. And now, with Bellarmine's sons down, Southern Arkansas is looking for the opportunity to be able to continue to push forward. But when you have Stick, who's causing so much chaos in your back line, it becomes a lot more of a daunting prospect to be able to even set foot. And you can see, no tank. But Bellarmine is still holding. Now Owl does have their dead eye, and so if things start getting dicey, they can use that. In fact, they oh. are going to be doing that right here. Looking for a good opportunity. Oh, the only person they gosh. were able to catch out in that is Ordinary Bird before being taken down by Lion. But this is going to be good enough, I think, for Suns to be able to get back on the point. And that's exactly what we're going to be seeing as Peep goes down oh. and Sick uh, just casually cleaning up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we didn't really need our tank there. Thanks, guys. You guys did the work. Now, honestly, that wasn't even just taking that fight. The beauty of Owl managing to get all those picks with the with uh with Cassidy doing great work. Cassidy's one of those characters that um honestly his his rework with, with going from a flash grenade to a uh to a sticky one, kinda I think it kinda worked out in a better way. I, I think it did. <laughs> I can tell you it's a it's a really annoying ability. <laughs> when you, oh trust me, I know. I know. <laughs> when you when you try to go up against it, alright stick, what do you oh, got for us oh, with this uh, oh, nano blade? God. Both Every of the sports are now down for Southern Arkansas, and they're looking towards Peep. Peep, at the very last second, manages to take them down, but Suns, of course, to secure it. And again, so, so this is what I think is also old. Wow, like, okay, Suns. What okay, strike. whatever. What All right, Suns. <laughs> you're, you're showing off, Suns. <laughs> Suns with the fire strike actually get it out. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and so this is like the beauty, I think, of Sun's pick into Zarya. Because honestly, what people don't know, some people still don't know, don't hit the bubble wall something. You know, sometimes, oh, the Shadow Strike. Oh, there it is. 
Oh, you're there dead. it is. You just you just hit the earth shatter and everybody's dead. Now with under a minute to go, Southern Arkansas is starting to run out of opportunities, but they have three big ultimates, <laughs> acoustics that might be able to secure this payload for them. All right, I'm be I'm be honest. They do they do have they have Bob, they have uh they have beat, and they do have uh the graviton. Potentially they could they could capture this point, but it's gonna it's gonna require very good work off of this all. Maybe even just an early pick on stick or even owl right here. Oh okay. Bob do something! But stick Bob. managing to kill Ash! No, so Stick kills Ash, at the very least Bob comes out, but in doing so, Rob still has their beat. Stick was not caught inside of that Graviton Surge, I don't think so, and if they were, they weren't caught inside of it for very long. So the three ultimates that Southern Arkansas needed to win did not help them in the slightest. Bellarmine is operating at peak efficiency, now going up 2-0 here on Paraiso into match point. Oh, and this stick will play the game again. All right, this was on the first push right here. Yeah, but he catches all three with the slice. There's that secondary click, managing to get that spread damage. Oh yeah, and they, they managed to It's just melee. <laughs> he just melee, he just melee. He brought a knife to a gunfight in one. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what uh, to tell you. I don't know what to tell you either. It's just the oppressive nature of what it, Bellarmine is doing to Southern Arkansas right now. Because you want to try and push in onto the point, but when you do so, I mean, you got a Genji in your backline completely shutting down any opportunities for you to be able to make that happen. And it, you, sometimes Genjis can be like a fly, right, Kusix? But yeah. I mean, with the way that this is working right now, it, he's, he's like a Hornet armed with a rocket launcher. <laughs> This is, this is a definitely a very busy V in the back line. Uh, Steve is just managing to consistently get in there. He's hitting the he's hitting the headshots off the primary fire, hitting the spread shots on the secondary fire. And honestly, he sees the knee-jerk reaction where people immediately want to shoot at Genji right after he gets in. And you have to be careful with that. Reflect is always an option. Uh, and most of the time, when Genji dashes in, he's just saving Reflect, using it at the last second way he can, and waiting for Dash to come back up so he can either get a kill, reset, or just get back out. And uh, right now, it just seems Arkansas just doesn't know how to deal with that uh, right there. In their own TPS, they've attempted to try to, like, target uh, Bellamine's back line, but it, it's just not working out for them. The Somber pick didn't seem to work out. Uh, so they've done this more uh they've done this more like going for long range picks and honestly still just isn't working out for them i just don't think they're putting enough damage on the board and uh it might just be skill gap it might just be man it could be something as simple as that i also want to highlight sons the tank for oh. Bellarmine as well sons was play played a really mean zarya the very first round really good ultimate combination especially with owl on the hanzo being able to secure a lot of kills that way and we know the raw power of zarya at this moment before she's about to get nerfed she's still oh, really powerful oh. she hasn't been hit with it yet but also a really good reinhardt yes Yes, he was Suns was playing a spectacular Reinhardt. Uh defensively on, on Parisio. I actually like uh Winston and Reinhardt more than I like the Zarya pick, just simply due to the fact that when you have barriers, you can hold positions way easier, right? Zarya is kind of like you're hoping they'll keep hitting you when you have bubble up, which people keep doing. Like they can't help themselves. But when you have uh, when you have <laughs> Reinhardt, it's just stand behind my shields and see if they can get me out. Oh, he's more room to learn. Oh no. <laughs> I, it's true though it's true though that's what makes these leagues so exciting right acoustics is always the opportunity to learn always the opportunity to be able to go back and look see how can we get better how can we improve against what is so what what, what is a, an opponent that is difficult to fight against oh and look at, you know what shout out to both of the teams because this is great sportsmanship right here right Hello. offering the idea to like just vlog review and talk through the game and seeing where they can improve at. Clap up for both of those teams where you get a chance. Like that that's great stuff right there. Indeed so. Bellarmine, however, on Route 66. Crew 6 is on match point. Ooh. This is a juicy moment for them, and they've been unstoppable so far. This is Southern Arkansas's chance, though, to be able to turn things back around. Yeah, there's definitely their chance to turn it back around. 
But right now, Phoenix actually switching off of the Genji, going Ash. Interesting. Ash Hondo and Reinhardt. You know what? This is a great. This is a great comp for Reinhardt. Uh, just because like you can manage to push behind the barrier, we see. Trying to go for the back line right now with just crashes. And nice hack onto Sun. That is going to be huge. That's an opportunity for days. And for Southern Arkansas to not have to worry about the Genji in their back line, it's going to, at the very least, be able to allow them to push up and breathe for a second here. You got to be careful, though, because Stick is damage boosted by their mercy. And oh Zero's giving them a lot oh. of opportunities to be able to do things like that and shoot Ordinary Bird. It's kind of like Kovacs with them as they're dip diving and shooting everybody a dynamite is going to force line off of the top of the gas station and al to quit a quick headshot secure the kill onto nuts they're looking back around us sombra who's not paying attention not quite able to hit the headshots here but southern arkansas still looking real good still looking real clean yeah absolutely southern arkansas said listen we're not going down without a fight we're gonna we're gonna what? hack oh my god and i will with the boy play headshot onto lion rings Gonna be able to take the kill right there. And Southern Arkansas might be able to hit this first checkpoint right here. Oh, Suns going in for the Reinhardt versus Reinhardt fight. Okay, all right, Suns, you just went straight up into the back line. You may sacrifice yourself in order to make this happen, but with Knots going down, that's a good opportunity and a lot of healing. This Actually, okay, all of the healing has been taken off the board. And because you now have Bob on the field, that's kind of another tank that comes back around. Stick does go down, but you can see the power of what Bob is able to do. Beep is on the back foot, trying to get away as quick as they can. But with no healers, oh. it is only a matter of time and their time has just been clocked. Oh my goodness. And right now, she's saying, yeah, I got the DPS is just in case, you know what I'm saying? It's only right on Route 66 that someone pulls out of Ash. I always love it when that happens. It just feels right, you know? Right, it's, it feels good. Southern Arkansas got really close, 76.03 meters. Pellermine Mine is holding, but that was a really good attempt from them. And I think another good opportunity for them, especially you say a uh, Death Blossom EMP combo might be able to get them, the get them all the way. Oh yeah, absolutely. That Blossom EMP, especially if you catch at least uh, three or uh, three or two people on the ground when they can't get up after using their abilities, this could be great. But Suns also has the availability to have that Shadow Strike. This is going to delay that EMP Death Blossom combo we were talking about with the death of Lion. Now Suns is going to regroup back onto the top of the gas station. Bellarmine is in a fortress right now you can say oh sons oh, how are you landing fire strikes against that on the just crashing the sombra the sombra hey listen that that boy is torching shots right there three full three pointers he is just tossing i i respect the name sons now i see it i respect it too all right <laughs> here's the opportunity though goose six four ultimates online for southern arkansas with the fifth one about to happen this is the moment okay we got to make sure we hit this. We got to get a big EMP here. We got to get a big Death Blossom. Oh, absolutely. So that sun's retreating back saying, I was just messing with you guys. It's a prank. I'll walk away now. Oh, look, right. another slow fest. There it is. At the very least, we're able to get one. But now with the, the bomb out of the field, this might be good enough for Bellarmine to be able to hold on. But no, oh, oh no. both the healers. No way. You just went right up into the back line and hit the fatty shatty from behind. He was trying to do the same thing, but Suns was ready for it. And with that, I don't think anyone is going to be able to have the opportunity from Southern Arkansas to be able to touch with less than 10 seconds on the clock. Two on top of that, Al is going to make sure that's not going to happen. And I think oh, here we have yep, it. Yep, there it is. Oh, but we're running to the point, but it's not fast enough. And just like that, Brother Mine is going to hold them off from even the first checkpoint. Oh, my goodness. Right. Now Bellarmine Acoustics has their win condition. All they have to do is take that little cart, 76.03 meters. So not too far. It's a, I, I mean, it was a good hold. I, I, I got to give Southern Arkansas props though. It looked like everything was being set up so well there, but it was just Suns. Yeah. The very yeah. last second with that Earth Shatter saved the day. For, Sun saved the day in like multiple ways on those ults because even after he got hacked, he positioned himself in front of his team just to body block. And then once he was able to barrier back up again, he was able to block the most of that death blossom, which manages to only kill one person. And then Sun says, All right, I have my I have my ult ready. Hold on, where's the healers at? Hits him with a deep from downtown Earth Strike 
from the roof. And man just killed both the both the Baptiste <laughs> and the Moira right beforehand. And that was that was just too good. That was just too good. It was uh, a lot of pain, a lot of pain involved. Now we're seeing Stick showing us Fair the full mercy. breadth of their skill. Yeah, we got the pharmacy out on the Farm. field. So we've been seeing Genji from them. We saw Ash, and now we're seeing Afara. Oh no! This, this, pharmacy is definitely just a uh, malpractice. I don't like this. Please no. Oh, Al, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh. That's beautiful. That's and they're gonna continue it. Ooh. This is actually kind of nice, though. Peep with a fire strike to be able to catch out Stick, and thanks to Lion on the Cassidy, he was able to set themselves up for a lot of damage there. But now we have a damage-boosted Widowmaker who can do a lot of damage to Stick, but thankfully the... Oh wow. my gosh, Al, are you kidding me? Whoa. You jump up in the air and you actually land the shot on the Lion. Yeah, absolutely. This is insane. Al just show, okay. oh my god. That's another Ow. one. Oh, I was looking say, hold on, hold on. I want some highlights too, guys. Hold on. Yeah, sick. Sick can have all of the credit. I gotta put my name on there too. Like, yeah, there's two DPS on this team, guys. Two. So we have one more opportunity for Bellarmine to be able to get oh, back on point. He knows the float trick too. Okay, all right. Delay it over there. Oh, oh is Bellarmine even gonna be able to put up a resistance right there, Sun versus Pete? Now no Imano. Oh, no one touch. No one touched. No one touched. So Mine was able to take the payload to where it needed to go. The Golden Gates of Victory for not only this map, but this series. Bellarmine, 3-0 against Southern Arkansas. Yeah, well, look at such, yep. And that was the backline double Ooh. support shatter strike. That was just too good. That's what we call, that's what we call juicy. I did like the attempt from Peep, however, because you can see that they were looking away in an attempt to maybe catch someone off guard with that Earth Shatter. And they did, they did manage to catch a couple inside of it, but uh, yeah, weren't able to follow up. And so it was a uh, good Earth Shatter in theory. Yeah, in theory, like if you know you're gonna die and you need to like buy as much time as you can for your team, uh, you, you do whatever you can. Like if it requires you to waste on ult, uh, if it's going to potentially just win you guys the game in the end, you do it. But in that sense, it, it was already too rough by then. Caught both of your supports lacking. Uh, they were done. You just hate to see it. You hate to see it. But right there, Sun's showing. Listen, it I'm, I'm, doesn't matter if we're on PC, console. I'm top 500 regardless. Yeah, I'm going to transfer those skills and... Uh... Start earth shattering everybody's dreams away. However, everyone, we're going to throw to a quick break as we try to get set up for an interview. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Decide to lead as an army officer. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch it. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here? You'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? working your way up from the bottom instead how does this sound starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations skip entry level decide to lead as an army officer becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make 
All eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow. In any environment. At any scale. It's not for everyone. But if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards. It's real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you They was blocking the shine, now I think it's my time to Careful them dollar signs, like lights, they'll blind you Let me rewind to Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents And now I got two rents They was sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new Smell like can too I'm fresh forever like canned food Try and tell me what I can't do I wanna see the world, my vision on Shamu That mean I got goals that's real big Foes that's real big Your offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big Coming into the ring with blows that's real big I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cards is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. others rally around inspire soldiers to follow your lead want to forge a better future start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions you believe the best offense is a good defense we've got a great way to prove that theory explore more than 200 careers at goarmy.com Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing, a thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do, that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. <laughs> 
Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. My university's Al, who we saw playing on the DPS, a uh, Reaper. When we saw a really, really mean Widowmaker, especially on Route 66. Uh, Al, how, how are you doing? How's the team feeling after that win? We're doing pretty good. Uh, I think it was a really big hype win uh, getting into playoffs and qualifying for the win. So all our players are super happy to kind of get that behind us and we can look forward to our upcoming matches. Sure. Sure. Uh, I'll, I have to ask, uh, so you talked about how two of your players are in the top 500, and then uh, the rest of your team sits around Plat and Diamond. Uh, do you think the discrepancy between like the skill level of everyone else and those two players kind of affects the team's balance or the play style? Uh, and do you think you guys will have to adjust anything going forward, or are you just guys going to just naturally start flowing better? Well, I know um, a big factor in it is kind of personal relationships uh, with the one another rather than, you know, if we were out of state and we didn't know each other in real life, it'd be a bit different. But with us knowing each other, going to the same college, we kind of had the flow of the gameplay with it just kind of being like cohesive unit, um, you know, making comps, making plays. It's definitely hard. You know, we can't practice with the top 500s because we can't just queue with them in their ranked matches. So we kind of have to find workarounds, get on different accounts, play together and stuff like that. So there's a couple hurdles, but overall morale kind of keeps flowing because we're all here just to play the same game. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> That's a yes. really... Yeah, good, good, good way to be able to um, try and bridge the gap there. And so what are some of the things uh, that you want to improve on together as a team, especially as you start going later on in the series? Yeah, so we this is our first season uh, as a group. Oh. We have freshmen on the squad. We're getting people in. I started the program myself not a year ago. Um, this is our first Overwatch season, so we're we're really getting off the ground, and we've been very blessed to have the players that we do and the commitment that we do. So, I say I think the biggest thing for us moving forward is growing the program as a whole and kind of having Overwatch lead the charge in that aspect nice. and maybe get us some titles. You know, the grip, the glory. Okay. okay. Oh. Looking for that year two. Okay, I, yeah. I like it. Look at they're looking for a year two title. I, I I like that. What do you? Well, speaking of year two titles, what do you guys think of like your your chances uh, to actually win the championship? You guys only have one loss so far, so you guys are actually three one in the standing for the league. Uh, do you guys think that loss was kind of heavy for you guys, and now you guys are kind of bouncing back from that, or you think you maybe even able to overcome that team that you guys lost to earlier in the season? Yeah, the, the team that we lost to had some really solid uh, top 500s and, you know, their subs came in and they were top 500. So it was definitely kind of like a slap in the face to us because we haven't experienced anything at that level. Um, and not even a day after we kind of had a meeting and we're like, hey, guys, we need to step this up and we have to kind of shift our focus. So instead of just, you know, playing the comp that every player solo queue is used to, we're like, okay, we're going to grind. We're going to set up scrims so we can get some more talent in here and try and face off some against the harder teams to prep in the future. You know, I, I, I love that. I love the forward thinking nature of the team and being able to rally together after, um, going up against a tough opponent like that and to be able to plant your feet down and to continue to keep going. But Al, thank you so much for joining us, everyone. This is Al from Bellarmine University. Congratulations again, once again, on your win. Thank you very much. And that is going to be it from us for tonight here at ECAC. Thank you all so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. I had an absolute blast. I don't know about you, Acoustics. Amazing time. Sam, you're the GOAT, bro. You're the GOAT. Yeah, I can right back at you, dude, right back at you. But everyone, make sure you follow the channel. We have some more exciting content down the road that's not just limited to Overwatch 2. It goes across breadth of a wide variety of different games. So make sure you are following the channel. 
And uh, we will see all of you next week. Goodbye. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? Working your way up from the bottom? Instead, how does this sound? Starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. Becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make. Because all eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow. In any environment. At any scale. It's not for everyone. But if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just start them way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job, that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God, is real big. Stayed up on the grind and the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs. Like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie. Must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like canned food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on Shamu. That mean I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I got to do it big. That's the only way I can live. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth, years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big, job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live.
others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Want to forge a better future? Start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions. You believe the best offense is a good defense. We've got a great way to prove that theory. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing. A thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What will you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? Working your way up from the bottom? Instead, how does this sound? Starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. Becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make. Because all eyes are on you. Call in the shots. Inspiring others to follow in any environment, at any scale. It's not for everyone, but if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. I think too small, I got big dreams. You just starting, I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. 
And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a sore. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little. My God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Careful them dollar signs. Like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broke and I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two rents. They was sleeping on me, homie. Must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask for it, it's got to be real big. I got to make it just for my kids and for their kids. It's kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out to finish this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I got to do it big. The only way that I can live. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to ECAC Rocket League. This is week number six in tonight's matchup. We have number 23, SUNY Poly, taking on number 39, Wake Forest, coming into this record being two and three. Wake Forest, SUNY Poly being four and one. My name is Whipshoe. Join alongside of me tonight is going to be my good friend, Flater. And this is my pleasure, Flater, because I believe this is our first time actually casting together, but we've known each other for quite some time now. Absolutely. Six months of knowing each other, and now <laughs> we finally get the opportunity to cast some carball together. It's going to be pretty exciting, I believe. We have this amazing Best of Seven series ahead of us. Would you like to make any predictions heading into this one? Um, Predictions-wise, I think Wake Forest is one of those teams where we have to kind of keep our eyes on. I think they, they can pull off an upset here. They're a very, very solid team. I've had the pleasure of casting them, I think, three times thus far here on the ECAC. Um, so, I mean, they're just one of these teams that are just bound to bounce back, in my personal opinion. Right. So, oh, it's going to be fun, exciting. I believe if you're going for Sony Paul, you might, might as well just say, uh, you know, go, to, go in the right opposite direction. Wake Forest, it is for me. You're going for Wake Forest too? Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from Sony Pali. I just haven't had the pleasure, you know, of seeing these guys play Rocket League just yet. So, I mean, it's going to be a show nonetheless. Regardless, you know, we have some good value here in the ECAC, regardless of who wins this matchup. Like I said, I think it's going to go all the way to that best of seven, that, that holy grail at game number seven right there. So we're going to see if that's going to be true or not, Flater. But like I said beforehand, this Wake Forest team is nothing to sleep on because I've seen them play some very, very tough opponents. And they have one of the harder roster or the, the harder schedules here in the ECAC as well. Absolutely. And we see the players joining in. Five minutes on the clock. Game number one. Whoops. Let's get this started. Yeah, game number one. Enough talking about it. Let's be about it. Let's see it as well. And of course, it's going to start off over on the blue half of the field. Wesh. Over here on the SUNY Poly team has an open net opportunity. This is not how we want to see Wake Forest start this one off. Only nine ticks off the clock and already SUNY Poly up by one. My man just made one flick to get it past all three players. Wake Forest just going against one man. Not even get, not even getting one single touch on the ball there. Wake Forest starting off not in the best position. Sony Pauly already up by one. Here goes Melon once again. Now with an opportunity to take possession. Denied by Wesh as Ben P going up high with the Dominus. And you know, we don't usually see our Dominus anymore. Whoops. 
Yeah, I mean, there's very few Dominuses left inside RLCS in general, uh, meaning so that a lot of players typically aren't uh, using Dominuses. We, we see a lot of people switch over to the Fennec, like right here, Ethereus is going to go ahead and, you know, using the Fennec. And we have a lot of players that usually just use the Octane as well, but that Dominus has a very, very unique hitbox. It's a, it's a flatter surface. A lot of players have some weird and powerful touches with that hitbox from the Dominus, so... Keep our eyes out on, on a couple of these different cars, especially Ben P. Here comes Wesh over trying to find the infield pass. Ethereus, nice interception, takes that one away. This could be a chance right here to tie this one up for Wake Forest. And Maloney can't quite come up with a touch, but Wesh get the touch on that one to keep that one out. Oh, great dribble to get it past one. Demo's coming left, right, and center. Melon coming out on top of this madness and chaos. First goal coming in from Wake Forest, and they have redeemed themselves. Exactly, and this is the Wake Forest team I was talking about beforehand, the one that can't come back and pull off this upset against this very, very strong SUNY Poly team who's coming into this one, like I said before, with a record of 4-1. and one. So I would say the favorites to win this matchup, but we talked about before how Wake Forest has had one of the tougher uh, um, um, schedules here in the ECAC. They took it on some very, very tough opponents, and like I said before, I, I casted a couple of them before. Um, so a, a couple of tough teams like uh, Fanshawe, as this one's going to find its way through as well. Wesh is going to go ahead and put Suni Polly up by one once again. But yeah, this Wake Forest roster, I had the privilege of casting that Fanshawe game. Actually, Wake Forest lost that one in the best of seven, four to zero, but it was a very, very tight matchup. I believe that each game, even though it only went to four games later, I think they only lost a majority of those ones by one. Absolutely, just un unfortunate for Wake Forest so far here in this league, but once again, they make the comebacks possible. It's going to be Malone against the touch from West, who's looking for a bit of a back pass there. The player's just not ready for it, and Tukin cannot ca quite connect to the ball. We're all tied up once again with 3 minutes and 30 seconds left here in Game 1. Still lots of time left for either one of these teams to come back and you know, kind of solidify, get this game rolling in their favor. But still, looking for that ultimate separation. They're still trying to feel each other out here. And with three minutes, almost three minutes on the clock, there's still plenty of time for both teams to start playing a couple of mind games, maybe. And this shot from Toucan from the right-hand side going to find its way through. A lapse in the defense right here from Wake Forest is going to result in a goal. And it's just an unfortunate touch coming in from Melon there. He's trying for a back pass, and the exact same thing that we saw in the blue half comes to fruition here on the opposite side of the field with Sony Polly. So far, you know, there has been a pattern. They take one goal, Wake Forest come back with another. Can they make the pattern go away, or is it gonna be Wake Forest scoring for another one? It's Melon in possession, not for long though. It's Toucan takes it up high, a lot of boost to work with. Here comes Wesh, a double touch opportunity picked up by Toucan, shot on target. The defense just not ready for the wrath of Toucan as they're now up by two. Yeah, I think they respected this double touch from Wesh Maloney just there on the goal line, trying to deny that downward shot from the initial attack. And then I'm not sure if Wesh actually just couldn't find the angle or not, or if it was just a calculated whiff and Toucan was just there for the follow-up touch. Maloney just had no boost to work with to accelerate up to that ball, and he loses that exchange on the goal line. And this is what we were talking about before. Lots of time on the clock still for Wake Forest to come back in this matchup. It's been a lot of sloppy defense and another goal for Wesh. That's going to be a hat trick as he scores his third. Tankless there's just not ready to be the third man was looking for the boost however the ball just ended up right in front of the orange net and Wesh made no mistake in taking it to a three goal lead for Sony Poly. Yeah unfortunate like I said unfortunate start right here for Wake Forest starting off a little bit flat a lot of opportunities on the offensive end really haven't been going their way thankless we have to board with them right now as they were uh, kind of trying to sort things out look like a little bit of AFK Maybe some communication, controller issues, whatever it may be. They are back in the game and in full stride. But we really haven't seen too many opportunities for Wake Forest. Shet on the offensive end. Toucan going to pick up his hat trick as well. 6-2 to two now in favor of SUNY Pauly. It seemed like a bit of a 2v3 there. Not working out in their fair. Melon looking for the clear into the corner. However, the touch not angled enough. A four-goal lead here, whoops, in game one. SUNY Pauly, they're really showing off. Yeah, like I said beforehand, though, just Wake Forest squad. They just really haven't had too many opportunities on the offensive end. It's been all SUNY Poly. They've been controlling a majority of this game. 
And it's been off the back right here of Wes. Ethereus is going to save that one away. Respectable shot from Wes. And a bump Ooh. and a demolition coming out as well. Ben P can't get the touch, but still going to roll in slowly. I think Ben P picks up his first goal of this game number one. And usually we see the physical plays coming in in the later part of this game and even now they do just tilting Wake Forest even further as it's now a five goal game here in game one and you can't let this uh, you can't get this lead extended any further because you got a lot more games to play and going far five to eight goals down here in game number one I'm not sure you'd want to do that. I mean, especially this best of seven series, it's a long series. Seven games is pretty much the standard here for competitive Rocket League play. And you can't let this one kind of, you know, the, the series I'm talking about, can't let it kind of get, that's game number one, get in your head. You have to just kind of reapproach the game differently in that game number two. Right now, get your bearings going. Maybe even let just Suni Pali just tee off as Ben P's going to score his second. Looking for a hat trick himself now. But at the same time, Suni Pali just absolutely dominating and taking full on advantage of everything that Wake Forest's defense has given up. Mm, the counter is just so quick to react, and whenever possession has been given away by Wake Forest, Suni Pali always have come out on top. Each and every player with some goals to their name. A total of 12 shots now, while Wake Forest University, they haven't had any time on offense. Definitely need to get that offense established in game number two, but looking like they might get something here. Toucan's going to keep that one away. Bounce it off the right-hand side as well. Nice overtake right here from Wesh, who pushes that one into the corner. Also steals that boost from Ethereus. Could have something going here for Wesh. Oh, my goodness, what an overtake. Ben P gets himself a hat trick, and all three members now from Sunipali have three goals. And would you look at that? Wesh going for a bit of a flip reset. Ben P said, you see the defense coming in. You can't wait any longer. Put the ball on target. And that is exactly what he has did. Making it a seven goal lead for Sonny Pauly with still a minute left. Going into the next game, you got to break this momentum for Sonny Pauly. And this was such a closer game. I'm not too sure what happened with Wakes Forest defense. Wesh going to score another one. Four goals, 10 to two, Sonny Pauly. Off of the sidewall, thing of beauty right there, using that flip reset to extend that ball past the defense. Maloney being the only person back right there for Wake Forest. And I really feel like Maloney's been the sole uh, defender for Wake Forest here for the most part. Essentially just being the last person back, and it's just been an unfortunate sequence of events right there for Wake Forest. Just a lot of aggressiveness, a lot of miscommunication, and just a lot of opportunities that Suni Pali has just taken advantage of. Absolutely. I don't even feel for one second that this team is mechanically not capable enough. They, I do see the mechanics showing off. It's just that the communication right now and with a bit of a technical issues coming in from Thankless, things are just not working out in the offensive half. 19 seconds remaining. This game number one. Wake Forest wants this one to end. Suni Pali trying to extend the lead by maybe one more. Final 10 seconds are on the clock. Ethereus into the corner. Good 50-50. Wesh. He's keeping this one low, maybe trying to walk away with his fifth goal. That one's going to be covered up by Maloney. Toucan still keeping this one alive. The hope and the dream to score the 11. And that's a good backflip right there. Instead of trying to attack, they want to be aggressive. <laughs> Suni Pali, hang on, or hang on, I should say, dominate in game number one and win this one 10-2. In the first few minutes, in the first minute rather of this game, we saw Wake Forest actually putting on a really, really good show. But after that, Sony Body, as soon as they went up those two goals, it was a domination all the way through, securing goal after goal every 10, 15 seconds. So Wake Forest going into the next one, I do want to see the exact same action as I saw from them in the first minute. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the same here. I want to see that competitiveness that I saw in the first couple of minutes from Wake Forest. We talked about, you know, at that three-minute mark, basically, one of these two teams was going to start to pull away because they're still trying to figure each other out. We saw Suni Pali just start to dominate all three members like we talked about beforehand, walking away with a hat trick here. Wesh adding one more onto that, walking away with four goals. And a lot of shots as well from um, uh, Suni Pali and, and just countless amounts of pressure just being applied onto that Wake Forest defense. So unfortunate, like we talked about, unfortunate start and finish to this game for Wake Forest. But Suni Pali, you have to be impressed with the sheer amount of offense that they just generated in the game number one. Absolutely. I mean, it just goes to show how how much cohesion there was on the field for Sony Pauly. Like we said, taking the first two minutes to analyze the kind of play style that you're going up against. And as soon as they figured it out, they brought in fire through the field. 
100%. Right now we have a technical difficulty on the field. I think Wake Forest are having a couple of issues right now uh, on their end, so they're trying to get their uh, their teammates uh, reconnected. So we will be joining the match shortly. But still, like we talked about beforehand, SUNY Poly just a great start to this game number one. Looks like all the issues are indeed sorted out between these two teams. So we're going to go ahead and get game number two underway. And Flater, I have to ask you, you know, are we going to see that same Wake Forest team that we saw in the first two minutes, that, that stalemate of a team? Or are we going to just see SUNY Poly just pull off this uh, uh, sweep here in game number two and uh, essentially in the series? I want to see the first minute. I mean, that's that's just me being optimistic. <laughs> Sony Poly, the thing, the way that they, that they have been playing so far in the uh, in last game, if they continue to do it, Wake Forest University have a challenge in front of them, and they got to do something about it. Do or do not, there's no try. They have to make sure that they play in the same way that they did in the very first minute of that game. Yeah, they have to get this ball off of their side, too, in order to be successful. And for the, for the most part, you know, this is a good start for Wake Forest because game number one started off with nine seconds and we saw ourselves our first goal. This could be a chance right here. SUNY Poly couldn't quite find the angle to push that one through. Ethereus in the 1v1 situation against Wes. Wes wins that exchange. The 50-50 might find its way in. Doesn't quite come up with it, though. Rolls off to the right-hand side, and Maloney is going to go ahead and get a clear for that one. Here's West sending it into the corner, but great and step coming in from Ethereus. Tukin, a lot of boost to work with. Looking for the 50, ends up faking him instead, but Ethereus will be taking possession. Bumps the last man out. Opportunity for Wake Forest to take the third goal, but where's the third man when you need him the most? No goals coming in for WFU. Oh, there's a shot right there from Tukin. Gonna be saved away by Thankless. Close shot indeed, and. I like those ones because it forces that defense back. It pushes them back towards their side and makes them respect a the majority of the shots coming through as well. This is a pass off the backboard. Thankless trying to connect with Maloney here. Maloney has a plenty of boost for the double touch. Just a little bit too high. Maybe the fake. Ethereus. Wake Forest going to score first. Three minutes and 20 seconds left. What Sony Poly did in game one, here it is. WFU doing here in game two. The fake. The myth of the whiff rather coming in off the backboard from Malone. It's good enough for WFU to take that first goal. Good heads up play right there. The fake, the tactical fake coming through for Wake Forest as well. So you love to see it. Here comes Wesh. Can do it himself. Oh, the wow. flip reset just being denied by Maloney coming off the back wall. I feel like you're going to have to have that backboard presence against the SUNY Poly team. If you don't, it's going to be an ultimate or an automatic goal, I should say. Especially after what we've seen in game number one. Toucan wins that 50-50. Ben P, soft touch with that Dominus. And Wes, of course, going to go ahead and score this one on the goal line. Watch this one back. The 50-50. Ben P, if he doesn't get this touch right here in the corner or off the back wall, I don't think Wes finds the back of the net. This goes to show how well individually mechanical these players are absolutely being able to support each other, get those passes, get those goals going. However, half the game gone, a much calmer and exactly what we wanted here from game two. Exactly. This is more of a, a closer match that we were talking about uh, between these two teams. What we were expecting to kind of see before everything kind of got chaotic in that first game. And maybe it was due to some of the issues that Wake Forest was complaining about. And uh, maybe they address those issues as well heading into game number two. But nonetheless, this is a much closer affair than what I think we expected to kind of see. Two minutes and 20 seconds left here in game number two. Ethereus is going to get beat by West off the back wall. We go, Ben P. Right place, right time. He has himself another goal. Look at that. One whiff. All it takes for Sony Poly to take advantage of this three-man passing play. Get that second goal going in their favor. Wake Forest University, you cannot let that one goal decide what's going to happen for the rest of this game. You got to make the comeback. Can't let the, don't, can't let the pressure get to you. So lots of time left on the clock, Wes. Has the flip. Still going to go ahead and push it through. Mm. Of course you are. Had plenty of boost as well. Why not? Wes has just been a mechanical nuisance for the defense here of Wake Forest. If not extending the play, getting some of these individual solo plays against them and pretty much looking like free play out here as well, Flater. And it looks like we're seeing a repeat of what happened last game. If they can't get this goal, though, it might have been something different. But here comes Sony Party once again on possession. Sending it to Wes, Tukin, third man. 
there to make a play, but Therius should be having this ball to himself for the clear. Thankless going up high, sending it over to the backboard. Do they have this pass play going? No, they don't. Who can? A lot of boost to work with. 50 over 1, sending it over to Wesh. An opportunity for another offense wow. here as Wesh goes off the wall. Flip reset. 1 to flip into the ball, but doesn't make contact. And Thankless should be able to make a save here. But you we see the awkwardness coming in on defense. And every single time it comes in, Sunni Pauly take advantage. Exactly. It's just like a little bit of hesitation mixed with uh, just uh, uncertainty, I, I would say. And that comes up to, in my personal opinion, just a little bit of communication issues off the defense of Wake Forest. Another missed opportunity right there on the offensive end for SUNY Poly. You saw the breakaway offensive segment there that they were trying to score with right there. Wes still might have it. Good touch right there from Maloney off the back wall. Going to keep that one away. Final 60 seconds on the clock. Wake Forest are down by two. Oh, Ben P looking, looking for the most insane angle for a double touch there. Could not find it, not just yet. It's going to be Malone going up high off the side wall. Looking for a pass down center where Wesh there for the intercept. Flick over the last man did not come through. 40 seconds left here. Sony Polly are still looking to apply more and more pressure off the backboard. A double touch, but they make it work. They are still under two goals. Can they make this comeback? 30 seconds off the side wall, Maloney. Could it quite come up with a thankless? Was trying to find his mark. You start to see the demolitions coming out for Wake Forest here in a desperation attempt to start to come back, get the defense off the field. Maybe he'll open something up for the offense. Here comes Thankless now. Pops this one backwards. Ethereus off the sidewall. Lots of boost to work with. Good challenge right here from West at midfield. Extends this long clear. Toucan with the overtake as well. Popped over into the orange corner. Only zero seconds left on the clock now. I was going to say it's not going to be enough time at all for the comeback for two goal, a two-goal deficit. Suni Polly going to take game number two in a three-to-one fashion. Absolutely ridiculous performance once again from Suni Polly, But at the same time, still a better performance from Wake Forest. I can foresee them taking a game away here. They're starting to play a lot more competitive. They seem to kind of work out some of the defensive mishaps that they're having and be more confident with some of these challenges and saves. And uh, essentially, I think that Wake Forest can take a game number three here or maybe even just a game in general here. Now, and judging by the current back pattern, that does seem to be the case. However, they got to keep improving. They can't go back to their roots. And it's very difficult in a best of seven series to keep the same mindset. When you see a team like Sony Poly absolutely dominate through, you look at the scoreboard, you start to, feel, you start to lose hope. And I, want it, and I want that Wake Forest does not follow that. Look, get that improvement, get that one game. And that is what they need if they want to start this comeback here in this best of seven. Yeah, not only that, but they need to have an offensive chance as well. Only two shots registered in that game number two. That's mm -hmm. not enough offense at all for SUNY Poly to A, respect, and B, put you in a favorable position to win unless you play some solid defense. And we all seen just the, the sheer amount of panic so far that Wake Forest has had on the goal line. So let's go ahead and hop into game number three and see if Wake Forest can start to, you know, figure things out here on the defensive end, or is SUNY Poly going to pull away? once again we shall find out soon enough five minutes on the clock here we go Tukin. i believe it's a bit of a car switch there i don't remember what the car is but i, ap I absolutely appreciate the memes here is here comes ben p in the dominance looking for a pass down center and look at the amount of power that man was able to get onto that ball and exactly. no goal though as wake forest university still managed to get this out of their way Ethereus needs that save and he does Tukin. opportunity for a pass Picked up by Wesh, but Ethereus manages to make it work. Now, we have Wake Forest on offense. Can they do something? Not yet. Maloney, no touch for him. It's going to be Sony Pauly now on the offense. Yeah, right now, this is a good stance for the Wake Forest defense. You see the 1v1 challenges. It's working out in their favor for the most part. They're getting the, the, the defense of the offense, my apology, of Sony Pauly to back up towards that midfield line. So we're starting to see that back and forth momentum shift kind of go. But at the same time, Suni Pali just, you know, attack that one and uh, start to push it right back towards the goal line of Wake Forest. A little bit of a double commitment right there from Wake Forest. So something that we kind of don't want to see. We saw Ethereus and Thankless both attempt to uh, get uh, clear on one of those balls there on defense. But for the most part, it worked out in their favor and still a scoreless game. 
Oh, there's a whiff from Maloney, and we've all seen what Sony Polly does to deal with whiffs. No goal yet, though. So, Wake Forest University still managing to keep this within arm's reach. All tied up. Ethereus could take the lead here, but the defense just a little too quick. Tukon, opportunity to be the last man, which he does. Ben P shot on target. Ooh. A little too wide, but Tukon's touch could have been devastating for Wake Forest's defense. That was a close attempt right there, Suni Polly. I'm surprised that one didn't result in the goal, especially for how long it lingered on that goal line. So fortunately for Wake Forest, they're still in this game, and it's still 0-0 as well. This has been the longest it's between these two teams so far in this series that they haven't scored a goal. Just under the three-minute mark to go between Wake Forest and Suni Polly. Here comes Ben P. Pops that one off the back wall. Toucan trying to set somebody up. For that second touch, who a little bit of a uh, mess up right there on the rotation back through. Tukan accidentally hits Wesh, and Wesh, not really much to do with that ball. They're trying to maybe sneak something through on the defensive side. Here comes Thankless now. Should be a routine save. Going to be interesting where he pushes this one. Let's push it right back towards the center. So that was a dangerous situation right there, but Tukan misplays it. That he does, and we see a lot, and we see a lot more mistakes coming out from Sony Pauli. They have been cautious as well. Cannot let Wake Forest University run away with a lot of the possession plays. As Ethereus has been a powerhouse on defense, sending us into the offense now. Ben P getting that first touch, but Tukin there to make a play. Flicks over the uh, flicks over the last man, giving his team a lot of time to recover and set an offensive attack here. And there it is, the whiff coming in on offense. Does it come back to bite them? Oh my it gosh. almost does, as Maloney. Of a pinch gets this out of their own half. Such a close, close call right there for Wake Forest defense. All three members kind of had to uh, get that one out, keep it out. But still, like I said beforehand, it does work out for him. It's still 0 0, but the panic has to be setting in just a little bit for Wake Forest. It looks like Sumi Polly is just kind of, uh, you know, cool, calm, concise, kind of methodical with their touches and their movements. Just waiting for something to kind of open up here for Wake Forest, and why not? It's been working out for you before in the past, I might as well try it out now. Good attempt right there on the flick from West. Does get a demolition onto somebody from Wake Forest as well. Doesn't quite open up the door, though. Here comes a uh, corner touch from Ethereus. West at midfield. Maloney has a little bit of boost to work with. Does go ahead and go for the 50-50 attempt. Another person to race off the field. That's Maloney, courtesy of Toucan. Here comes Ben P now erasing Maloney again off the field, off of respawn. So these demolitions, they're trying to set something up, maybe set a little bit of panic as well onto the Wake Forest defense and force them to make a mistake. Absolutely, these demolitions can be devastating for this defense as the, uh, the boost contra boost management is not looking at its finest. Tank the sword, and however, does have something to work with. Sends it over to Ethereus, who puts a shot towards the top right corner. Vesh needs to make a save here, which Ooh. he does. But the second touch almost all come, come through. And I have to say, Vesh, what a commendable try there to get that second save. Yeah, I'm not too sure how much boost Vesh had to work with, but he definitely got the first one out. It looks like he had plenty of boost in the replay uh, to kind of keep both of those shot attempts out. He just could not catch up to the speed of that shot attempt. The Wake Forest are up late. One to zero, maybe looking for two to zero. That could have been the dagger right there from Maloney. Still could have a chance here. Double commitment from Suni Pali. Maloney has to turn on this one and start the challenge early. Does do just that. Wins the 50-50 exchange. Wesh. Picks up that back boost. Going to be crucial right here for this drive. Nice infield pass to Toucan. Toucan oh, wow. with the shot. There goes the tie. 16 seconds left here in game number three. Looking at potential overtime now. And the only reason why that was not saved because of the amazing speed on the ball there. Tank is in the right position. However, just not ready for that pinball of a shot towards the target. One all now with only 15 seconds left. Like you said, whoops, this could go any way. But we are hoping at Wake Forest University adapting to the playstyle gets this one. Toucan, however, might have something else in mind. Looking for a low 50-50. Doesn't find it. Vesh off the backboard. Now... A lot of boost to work with. He's trying to play with this ball here. Looking for a touchdown center, but it seems like no goals are going to come anymore in regulation if we head into overtime. Yeah, this overtime is much, much needed as well. Maybe even just for Wake Forest as a confidence booster to say that they can compete. And like we said before, I talked about how good this Wake Forest team was. It's just been such a tough schedule for them so far. That's why they're coming into this matchup being 2-3. and three, But... At the same time, like I said, they, they've lost a lot of their games by one goals. They start to heat up a little bit late. Here comes a shot from Ethereus. 
Gonna go ahead and take a game way here from SUNY Poly in OT. Only 25 ticks on the clock. Exactly what you'd want to see. Bottom left corner shot. West nowhere near to get a piece of that one. And Wake Forest University finally make this comeback. They went from 2-9 to nine to this 3-1 to one game. No, rather 2-1 two, one game here in overtime. And that is a commendable performance coming in from Wake Forest. Exactly. A lot more shots, a lot better crisp defense being played right there for Wake Forest. And if Wake Forest wants to see the potential of this team, they need to save this replay right here and go back and see what they did and apply this to the rest of the season. Uh, I guarantee they're going to start to see some success because that was a heck of a matchup. They played some pretty crisp defense, walking away with six saves and a couple of respectable shots as well that had to be that, that pushed back SUNY Poly's defense and offense just enough to kind of sneak a couple of their goals in. And they kept it, they, they, they caught them off guard, ultimately, is what happened. So, GG's to SUNY Poly, Wake Forest, take game number three. But SUNY Poly still has the advantage being up in the series 2 to 1. 2 to 1. And this next game will decide will Wake Forest University, will they keep up with the kind of performance that they have been showing us here in game one? Or is it going to be SUNY Poly again with that dominating performance? I mean, they still had a dominating performance, in my personal opinion. They, they had 10 shots, 10 shots towards the net. They just didn't walk away with as many opportunities, I feel like, because Wake Forest mm -hmm. just played some really, really phenomenal defense. So, I mean, there's a ton of opportunities there for SUNY Poly. They just didn't, they just didn't have uh, um, you know, the defensive mishaps that Wake Forest essentially had going into that matchup. And they played some really good defense, like I said before. So, ultimately, it's up to Wake Forest if they want to win, lose, or draw, essentially, because... You know, basically, if they play some good defense, you see what they're capable of. If, they have, if, they're, if they're really, really lax on the defensive end, this is what happens. SUNY Poly are going to take full-on advantage of it and score within the first five seconds. A great flip reset as well to get that ball to the top left corner. Top left corner. Yes, Maloney just could not get that touch. Not ready for that tangled of a shot coming in from Ben P. Five seconds in, like you said, SUNY Poly have started off strong. Definitely know how you want to start off, like we talked about before for Wake Forest. You don't want to be down early against SUNY Poly. It just adds to their confidence levels, kind of makes them more aggressive as well. You start to see a lot more push-ups right here for SUNY Poly. Toucan changes the cars once again. I think he's rocking the Dominus now. Started off with the Octane in game number one. Game number two, I think still used the Octane. Game three, switched over to the Ford F-150. Now he's rocking the Dominus, so... A little bit of car issues right now coming out for Toucan. Can't quite figure out what he wants to use. And later, I mean, each car just feels different. Sometimes one feels slow. Sometimes one feels fast. But the majority of the time, like they, they all have a different hitbox. And they do different things. So, I mean, it's kind of interesting to see the tactic right here for Toucan. Uh, he's just how, he's just vibing with each and every ball, each and every car he finds. He's going for whatever plays that he makes that he feels uh, is the most comfortable for him. And it seems like up until now, everything has been working out for oh, him. What a save. That's an opportunity for Ben P to go for a shot. Thankless, like you said, what a save indeed. Ethereus now on the offense, sending straight over to the blue net. Wesh, no difficulty in clearing that one out. Two can needs to make a play here. A bit awkward there on defense. Ben P comes in to save the day. Thankless Odin. 30 boost to his name. Can't do oh, much 50, with it as Wesh. Maloney just forces the ball into the blue net. Doesn't care how many people he has to ram through. Gets that first goal for Wake Forest University. What a great 50-50 challenge right here from Maloney. And it was a 1v3 situation as well that led to this goal for Wake Forest. So huge opportunity for Maloney. On top of that, just a great goal in general to tie up the ball game. Here comes Ethereus now off the backboard. Couldn't quite get the touch. He did take a lot of it off. Uh, waited for that ball essentially in the air and just couldn't wait any longer. He had to make a decision with it, and it just did not work out in his favor. So Wake Forest with a missed opportunity on the offensive end. Now they have to scramble to play some defense. Thankless, the last person back. Good touch right here, but methodical touch once again from Wesh. This might lead to something. Good defense from Ben P, though, on the rotation back in the 2v1 situation. Here's West. A lot of boost to work with, however, doesn't know. Just, just gets it past one. Tukin. Possession play. Sends it right back into the orange half. Tank is holding. Not, not the good, that's not a really good shot. West could have shot it straight, but it's going to be Ben P closing out that play, taking the lead in favor of Sony Pauly. A three man passing play overall, working out in favor of the blue half and the, like we said the defense if, if they are lax in their performance they are not going to be making these saves 
Exactly, that defense right there from Wake Forest just a scramble back and it was just a, a sloppy performance right there because of the fact that they just left so many gaps and opportunities for SUNY Poly just to take advantage of and Thankless, you know, pretty much on the right side wall just trying to come up with something. Here comes Thankless and Maloney on the same side of the ball. Both of them doing a good job communicating there not to rush the same corner. Ben P floats that one towards the middle. Furious couldn't quite come up with it. This is a whiff right here. Ben P could have something trying to maybe get the 50-50 workout in his favor. He didn't really have any boost to kind of uh, turn that into an offensive pass or just trying to kind of play the 50-50 game. Look at the shot right here from Thankless. Oh, my goodness, the sniper shot. Going to tie the ball game right back up. And it's an absolute banger towards the blue net. The third man, nowhere close near the goal to even had a, have an opportunity to save that one. Because Wake Forest University have just tied this all up with only two minutes remaining here. A much closer game. And uh, like, we uh, like we said, last time Sony Party had ten shots. Even now, they have five. But each and every single one of these, they haven't been as threatening as what we saw there in game one. Not as threatening, but still have to be respected by the defenses you know a lot of these shots forces the defenders back and on top of that it just kind of starts the chain of uh, events that kind of happens good save right here on the goal line from Ethereus Ben P I thought really had that one but Ethereus just guessing right pretty much more like one of those penalty kicks on in soccer or uh, football wherever you're from and the mishap on defense once again the bump coming from his own teammate right here from Wake Forest watch Maloney as he's trying to advance this one upfield Maloney, and I think Ethereus kind of got tangled up there. Thankless was going back for boost and just left the net wide open. And if you do that, I'm telling you right now, SUNY Poly take advantage of it every single time. Every single time. No better way to put it. SUNY Poly now once again in the lead. Thankless Odin wants to change that, but you got to keep possession of that ball even when you're in the air. Nothing so far coming in, going in favor of Wake Forest University as they're now in their own half. Maloney looking to change that pass down center. Thankless Odin, is he ready for it? Goes for a bit of a lob shot. Doesn't go anywhere as he can't keep possession. Not for longer. Ben P gets it past one. The 50 over the second gives his teammates so much time to take it all away. But that is one awkward touch. Maloney, can he get to it? No, he can't. Ben P uses that last amount of boost to get send it all the way towards the West, who looks for a shot down center. Not coming through, but that one goal lead is still very much intact, and they're looking to make it two here as Toucan takes it off the sidewall. One too many touches to send it down center, but a little too slow. Weshauer still comes out on top. Corner to corner. They have it going from one corner to the other. No shot on target yet. Yeah, but at the same time, they're just taking full-on advantage of this defense right now, and they're they're literally just stalling time off the clock. So precious seconds being taken away. Oh, that one almost found its way through. Wesh, lower 90 shot, denied by the crossbar. The fourth defender back right there for Wake Forest. Final 15 seconds are on the clock. Let's see if they can get some sort of offensive segment. Toucan trying to go ahead and pre-jump that defender, and the defend defender won that one in this uh, segment. Here comes a nice little slow touch from Thankless. Didn't really have any boost to kind of come up with. It's looking like SUNY Poly is indeed going to hang on, but there's all zero seconds left on the clock. Toucan up in the air once again, trying to push this one through. Flip reset coming through as well. Maloney keeps it up in the air. Wesh off the back wall. Ben P trying to go for a touch as well. Still giving this Wake Forest defense a chance. And finally, this one hits down into the corner. SUNY Poly hang on by that one goal. And more importantly, Flater, they're on match point. One match point. game away from taking it all. Yeah, match point. I mean, that's what that means. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just a, a great, great game right there. Game number four was definitely a lot more closer and a lot more competitive. Um, it, it just came down to, like we said beforehand, before that game even started, Wake Forest's defense and the defensive mishaps that came through. They still walked away with about five saves off of only about 10 sh shot attempts mm. from uh, Sumi Pali, but at the same time, the goals that mattered were just some sloppy rotations and um, some weird placements from their defense. And I, I said this in, ga in game as well. Game number one, they had they had 10 shots, but all 10 of those shots extremely threatening. Wake Forest University could not just did not have the time to get back in a defense because of those rotational errors. And now we see the same amount of shots, but each of them a little less threatening. So Wake Forest University should realize that they have been ha putting quantity instead of quality. So they have plenty of opportunities to go for this counter. 
Yeah, they have to just be smart about some of these clears. We talked about it. It was weird placements where they were pushing some of these balls, and Suni Poly are like sharks, essentially. Uh, and they're going to take full-on advantage of a, a injured seal in the water. You know, they're going to go ahead and just let you make a mistake and then capitalize on that mistake. And I really feel like we haven't really seen the, a true test for SUNY Poly's offense nor their defense. I really want to see SUNY Poly against some really, really smart competitive teams as well. And then we're going to see how really, really good that they, they, they really are. But Wake Forest right now, for as little respect, in my opinion, as SUNY Poly has given them, they sure are keeping these the, the last couple of games pretty close. And hopefully they can make it even further here. Wake Forest University got to take this one. No more wins going in favor of Sunny Poly, Sunny Poly if they want this best of seven to go all the way. However, it seems like Sunny Poly, wow. they have something else planned. And look at that shot by Wesh. All the way from his own half, comes in flying, sends it to the backboard, and one good touch is all it takes to get past the two defenders. That's just insane. That that shot right there from Wesh is just insane, insane because he knew that it was going to hit off the left side. He knew he had to have the follow-up touch. And that was going to beat the defense right there of Wake Forest. So, I mean, just a heads up, uh, just the, the awareness from West right there, from SUNY Poly. He's just been pretty much the person to talk about from the SUNY Poly team. Nothing taken away from Ben Peden or Toucan whatsoever. But, I mean, West, in my personal opinion, has just been the standalone person to kind of watch on this team. He's been doing it on offense. He's been doing it on defense. And just his sheer mechanics alone has kept SUNY Poly ahead of Wake Forest. Absolutely, but like you said, no credit taken away from the rest of these two players. Hugan and Ben P have been the enabler. Whoever wants to be on offense, the rest two have been there for him. And it seems like every single time they go up, they definitely end up with a lot more possession plays. Here comes Tugan once again looking for a flip reset play. It's Dimos Maloney. So that gives some time for Wesh to set up another counter attack. Tank gets it past Tankless Maloney, however. Spawns the right position, right time over to Tankless. Can he get the second touch? No, he can't. Tugan sends it down center. Wesh shooting it all the way into the orange corner. Where we see Tugan putting it down center. But look at that. Great save coming in from Odin over to Maloney, over oh, to demo, now, opportunity, but Tukan makes the save. I do love the aggressive attack right there from Wake Forest, pretty much sending everybody towards that net, and then on top of that, getting some demolitions, trying to clear uh, uh, some of those defenders from SUNY Poly off of the goal line, but not only that, the third thing people can talk about with demolitions is the smoke screen that it puts, and that was perfectly placed right in front of the goal, but still, SUNY Poly's defense stand tall and still keep them in this game and in the lead more importantly one to zero but two minutes and 40 seconds left in this potential last game between these two teams what a shot right here from ben p coming off the sidewall gonna take full on advantage of that defensive rotation from wake forest and as the timer counts down it is it seems like a wake forest university the game seems to be slipping away ever so slowly they still need two goals to equalize the score line however sony poly they have been the ones in possession they have been the ones uh, defining the pace of this game so if Wake Forest University they want to make a comeback it Ooh. all starts with applying pressure and that's one way to start it off Maloney looking for the shot thankless a whiff giving Tukan the opportunity touch. for the free net and there is nothing you can do as Maloney no matter how fast you are it's not easy to <laughs> make a save from a flick like that no, and especially Toucan, just the way he gathers this ball on top of that Dominus, it's so crucial because if that was an Octane, it might have bounced off awkwardly and maybe even, you know, went towards the net. But because the Octane hitbox is so flat, it just rests on top of the Octane, which sets up that uh, that, that flip, or my, my apologies, that flick, not the flip. It sets up that flick perfectly and, uh, yeah, just catches the defense of Wake Forest just off guard. But on top of that, one thing I noticed, I think it was last game or the game before that, I noticed that Wake Forest is trying to play above their skill set. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Two cans to the score of this one. Uh, Sumi Pali going to go ahead and go up 4-0. to zero. But on the rotation back before, that, before this goal right here, Thankless was actually in the air trying to fly and trying to predict where that ball was going to land, wasting a ton of resources from the defense of Wake Forest there and put them in a compromising position, essentially. So, I mean... I noticed that Wake Forest are trying to match the pace and, and mechanics of SUNY Poly, but it's just they need to play their game rather than trying to play up to somebody else's game. 
Absolutely, that is one of the crucial crucial things here in the highest level of competitive Rocket League that everybody seems to just look over. You gotta make sure that instead of trying to pace up to the enemy, you make sure you should be the one to define the pace and play, like you said, your own game. So far, however, Wake Forest University haven't been able to find the opportunity. This, however, might just be the start that they need. It is the Ethereus quick turn to get that first goal. Yeah, good shot right here from Ethereus, just beating Ben P on the rotation back through. It's exactly what's needed right there from Wake Forest to kind of get things going, but it's do or die time right now, Flader. It's a minute and 23 seconds left. They're still down by three. It's doable with a minute and 23 left, but at the same time, there has to be some sort of pace in your play, like this shot right here from Maloney, but there has to be a better and more respectable shot. Good challenge off the sidewall, thankless. Onto West. We haven't seen too many of those tonight. Two can. Good challenge or good good way to keep this one out. Wesh, awkward position, still keeps this one out, reversing with his octane. Maloney, lots of chances right here, lots of options. Ethereus with a flick off the back wall. The follow-up touch from Maloney is going to be too wide as well. That was a huge missed opportunity, but more importantly, seconds being taken off of the clock for Wake Forest to mount this comeback. Yeah, it seems like it's a fever dream now because here it is. Wesh doesn't even <laughs> want to secure that goal. They're so confident in their ability to keep this game to themselves. Wake Forest University not finding the opportunities that they needed here in this game. But, well, they did go for a lot of shots though. We see eight shots coming in from Wake Forest. Ethereus, 25 seconds now. Thankless trying to have that redirect. Couldn't quite find the touch. Maloney into the corner. Thankless into the corner as well. Toucan saves this one away. I believe that that one is going to be the nail in the coffin. This offensive drive right here from Wake Forest is going to be stalled out from SUNY Poly. Over the net now, off the back wall. Toucan going to put a shot. Ethereus going to save that one away at the last second. SUNY Poly are indeed going to hang on to this commanding lead and win this final game right here, game number five, in a 4-1 to one fashion. GG's to both sides coming through. Wake Forest, like I said beforehand, they're that, they're that team to watch, man. They, they have so many opportunities uh, um, to kind of win some of these games here, Flater, but at the same time, you see what's holding them back as well. A little bit of defensive mishaps and a lot of just, like, respectable shots on the offensive end. Suni Pali, ultimately, though, just win this one with, rel with relative ease, in my personal opinion, and just had so much offense to give. I'm not sure if you noticed that in the last game, Wake Forest had just as many shots as Sony Pauli, as Sony Pauli have had in the last few games. However, it did not matter. Nope. Like you said, they were trying to match the pace of the game that Sony Pauli did, and it did not work out in their favor. It did not work out for Sony Pauli. It did not work out for Wake Forest, and that is case in point. You would not want to match the pace. You'd want to make your own pace. Exactly. And like I said before, they just kind of played out of their element, not to their strengths, but to their weaknesses, essentially. SUNY Poly were definitely more mechanical than they were. And basically, they were just trying to match that. But at the same time, they just could not keep up with that mechanical giftedness, I would say, that Wesh kind of has here on SUNY Poly. But don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to have an interview with somebody from SUNY Poly. I'm not quite too sure who it's going to be just yet. But don't go anywhere. You're not going to want to go anywhere. We'll be right back. Round. Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Want to forge a better future? Start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions. You believe the best offense is a good defense. We've got a great way to prove that theory. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing, a thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do that we do for nothing at all, but don't do it for nothing. 
take it to where it means everything. Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic? I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. Oh, that's fresh. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Hey, watch your head. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Look to science to solve problems? Wield a microscope to confront global threats. You sometimes dream in code? Become a cyber attacker's worst nightmare. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. What do you expect from that first job out of college? working your way up from the bottom? Instead, how does this sound? Starting in a guaranteed leadership position with people who look to you for guidance because you're trained to give it and make important decisions in critical situations. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. Becoming a leader is a choice not everyone wants to make because all eyes are on you. Calling the shots. Inspiring others to follow in any environment, at any scale. It's not for everyone, but if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead as an army officer. You think knowledge is a powerful weapon? Here, you'll have plenty of ammo. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. Y'all think too small, I got big dreams. You just start I'm way ahead at the end scenes. Started reading and dodging all of the quick schemes. Money like your Spotify, boy, I got 10 streams. And I'm still looking for more. My people, they got a saw. I'm putting that on the Lord. Ain't accepting, ignore. Just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, if I ask... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for sticking with us through that break. This is the ECAC, and this is week number six. You guys just witnessed Suni Pali winning over Wake Forest in a 4-1 to one fashion. And with us, we're going to have Toucan from SUNY Poly joining us in the booth for the interview. We appreciate you being here, Toucan. Congratulations on your guys' victory. Um, I have uh, the most important question, I feel like. Why all of the car changes? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Um, I'm going to be honest. Uh, we've had like a really tough last few matches. We've lost them both, and... This was our match to kind of bounce back, have some fun with it. And I typically only use an Octane, so I was just messing around when I put on the F-150 and the, the Ominous. I put on the Dominus yeah. to make fun of Ben, because Ben uses it. And <laughs> I figured car. you were trolling. I figured it was like a little shout out <laughs> towards Ben, you know what I mean? But it worked out in your favor. You got yourself a goal with a nice little flick, you know, towards the tail end of that game number five. So it works out in your favor. Oh, yeah. 
And I got another question for you. What exactly was the strategy for the entire time in the offense? I mean, I saw you guys going for the clips there in game two and thus, I believe, uh, the loss there in overtime. A bit of a throw, as you call it here in the pre-production area. <laughs> but how, how exactly did you deal with the offense for the rest of the games? I'm going to be honest. Um, before we started playing the series, I said, all right, guys, we're going to go for clips the entire time. If you guys get a setup, <laughs> You guys are taking it in the air and you're doing something with it. And we hit a few, got a few resets, double tap, you know. But we just wanted to have fun with this one. The sheer so, amount of just disrespect that that's just yeah. <laughs> no, they were a good team, and, but we we didn't do any rotations or anything. Like we played like idiots, but sometimes that works. Yeah, I mean, sometimes just, you know, monkeying around and, you know, it works out in your favor and it, it keeps the defense kind of guessing as well. And it looks like that's exactly what happened in this series. You know, Wake Forest was just in shambles for a majority of the time on defense and you guys was having constant pressure just towards their back end. So, like I said before, it just works out. But uh, I have a, a, another question for you as well. So how many times do you guys just like, you know, kind of practice and, you know, what do you guys kind of do to prep for your guys' week? Because, I mean, it just looked like you guys were in free play the whole entire time. I mean, no disrespect to Wake Forest by any means, but I think they were a solid <laughs> team. And like I said before, the cast even started, I was like, you know, they're, they're one of those teams where if they get, you know, some of the things that uh, worked out in their favor, they, they, they can take a series away from a good team like you guys. Mm -hmm. Um. So typically, to practice, we do scrims through Gangster. Um, for all the teams that look for scrims, I would recommend using that platform. Um, I used to use the six fans looking for scrims, but that's kind of died down. So if you do want to look for scrims that like are at your level, I would recommend using Gangster. Um, we also just we play a lot of threes together, and we do a lot of playing um, like separately, um, just because it's important to play on your own just so you don't get burnt out. So um, we just do that. Cool. I, I mean, yeah. I got I mean... one last question. Uh, sorry, you, whoops, you want to say something? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say it works out because, I mean, you guys were all rocking, like, the GC titles and stuff like that. That's what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, no, that, so. was, that was a meme. We have SSL titles, <laughs> but we, we were oh. uh, not. Nah, like, the, the Season 7 GC title, I feel like whenever I see that in ranked, I just, like, laugh. I'm like, ah, oh, oh, it's one God. of these kids, so... That's why we I can't, left. I can't like, even. I can't even with you guys. I can't take you guys serious anymore. We're just. I'm just. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. We all, we all left the two or three times just so we could put on the GC tags and match. But that that was just a funny thing that we did. <laughs> Go ahead, later. I know you had a question. Well, I got one more question based off of that. How exactly uh, do you guys want to pursue your future here in Esports? You like what ECAC rather? Well, in ECAC, we're obviously going to play for the chip. There's a, a few good teams. Um, like prior to ECAC last semester, we played in NASTAR League, which has like top level competition. And some of those teams actually play mm -hmm. here in ECAC. So we're looking to compete against them. But uh, moving on to next semester, we're looking to play in CRL even, um, just because Ben P's graduating. So we're going to have an incoming um, either transfer, or we're going to have to pick someone else up. But Cool, be the cool. goal. What kind of what kind of jersey you're rocking there? I want to see that jersey real quick. Oh, uh, this here actually, <laughs> I got another jersey too. This would be my school's esports jersey. Oh, cool. The back. Nice. Does that say fun. Mountain Dew Cherry on there? Mountain Dew Energy, one of our sponsors. Oh, okay. I thought it said Mountain Dew Cherry. As that's the best flavor course, anyway. But... <laughs> we, got, we got ECAC on the sleeve. Nice. But, um, this is my mountain biking jersey because I do mountain biking on my campus. I'm actually the VP this... of the club. But nice, dude. It's a little fun, fun jersey. Well, I tell you what. Next time you're on the stream, next time you get interviewed, fix your fix your bed, okay? That's oh. a little bit sloppy back there. Mom's oh, gonna be very no. disappointed in you. Oh, no. Okay, I'm Don't gonna call you out. Bed. You're on the stream. We're calling Don't you out for it. Okay, we're bringing out the, the takeout <laughs> behind you too. Okay, and we're not gonna question why the lotion's next to your bed either. But any shout outs, <laughs> to can Any shout outs, brother? Anything you want to say? <laughs> uh, shout out to my boys. Ben P and Wesh, they're both great. Um, also, all you guys that love Heat Seeker out there, I know it's kind of like one of those slept on game modes. Uh, join the Heat Seeker Heaven Discord, you know? Like, you're, you're looking to grind and make that like an actual extra modes, like full time LTM or cool. full time mode, not LTM. So that kind of contradicts it. But, you know, make sure to join that Discord. A lot of cool guys in there. And also the ECAC. Great production, best production I've ever been a part of. So, I love that. 
Thank you very much. We love to hear it. And once again, congratulations on your guys' win today. And uh, best of luck with you guys in the future as well, man. So solid team. I have no worries for you guys, but stop the memes, dude. Stop the memes. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Well, that's going to do it here for us in the booth. Me and Flater have had some fun out here. We appreciate it. We love it. Like you said beforehand, pushing the buttons in the background. The best production here is Hero. Appreciate you so much for pushing the buttons here on the ECAC. Flater, any final thoughts? Uh, it was an amazing series, amazing series, and getting to know the player personally just makes it uh, so much better. Like, we had SSL titles. So like, yeah, all right, dude, <laughs> okay. I mean, exactly. It's just for all the memes at this point in time, and we love it. You know, Toucan was awesome. Thank you very much for joining us. But, yeah, shout-outs, man. Thank you guys very, very much to you, the fans, for supporting all these teams out here, and especially for supporting the ECAC. Uh, you guys can find me at Whoopshoe Gaming on Twitter, or if you guys want to see me stream, it's just Whoopshoe on Twitch. So we appreciate you guys being with us for our Rocket League portion of the show, and we'll hope to see you guys in the future. Peace. Boy, this gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids as kids. That's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the ground and the cars is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to. Before you count me out, homie, let me remind you. They was blocking the shine. Now I think it's my time to. Capping them dollar signs like lights, they'll blind you. Let me rewind to. Back when I was broken, I couldn't acquire two cents. And now I got two wrists. They were sleeping on me, homie, must have got too big. Call my phone, I be like, who this? Damn right, hell yeah, I'm brand new. Smell like can too. I'm fresh forever like can food. Try and tell me what I can't do. I want to see the world, my vision on sham mood. I mean, I got goals that's real big. Foes that's real big. Y'all offer too little, sorry, my soul is real big. Coming into the ring with blows that's real big. I gotta do it big, that's the only way I can live. Accept and ignore, just kicking down all the doors. Guarantee you, boy, fast for it. It's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for their kids. Just kids, that's wealth years and years. Promise my brother, soon as he out and finished this bid, we finna do it bigger than anybody ever did. The odds is real big. Job that's real big. Satan trying a little, my God is real big. Stayed up on the grind on the cars is real big. I gotta do it big. The only way that I can live. others rally around inspire soldiers to follow your lead want to forge a better future start with the structures that support tomorrow's missions you believe the best offense is a good defense we've got a great way to prove that theory explore more than 200 careers at goarmy.com Hey man, I just can't find a comfortable headset. I mean, I've tried everything. Literally everything. Jeez, my brother. I got you. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Oh, that is comfortable. Are you the one others rally around? Inspire soldiers to follow your lead. Explore more than 200 careers at GoArmy.com. We all got a thing, a thing that gets us out of bed or keeps us out of it. The thing we live to do, that we do for nothing at all. But don't do it for nothing. Take it to where it means everything.
Becoming a leader is a choice. So if you want to learn to make big decisions, start with this one. Decide to lead. What sound experience would you like to know? I'll have the fantasy pack. Good choice. And could you make it a Cloud 2 wireless? On his way, sir. Sounds amazing. The HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless. Legendary comfort goes wireless. Wow. Skip entry level. Decide to lead as an army officer. What would you like today? Another Cloud 2 Classic. I'll stick with the usual. Maybe take a little bit off the sides. 